The sleeping blood beast within claws and scratches at your resting mind. You are, as ever, mere hairs away from its grasp. Another watches your body while it is possessed by the night. You do not dream alone. Dark dreams? I think I can guess. Visions of blood on your hands. The blood in your veins, perhaps. For all the gift spells children inherit, a peaceful night's sleep is not among them. If I must lie awake, then so must you. Only fair, considering that you are the reason. I've been sensing something, you see. A formless but familiar dread, which I have only now been able to put a name to. And so I come to ask, what did it take for you to earn that slayer skin you hide so well? I have spent my life fighting your father in whatever form he chose to take. By rights, I should cut you down here. But that would be a mercy. One you have not earned. You are twice tainted, yes. But whatever you have done, you might yet serve the good. Whatever its source, the Slayer form is a weapon like any other, and if you mean to master it, I know where you must go. To face the other of your kind, Orin. So long as the other lives, Neither of you can claim your full power. Oh, I am truly bored of that phrase. Cast yourself into the dark if you wish. I mean to be there to pull you back, by the hand or the scruff. You will be protected, even from yourself. For now, rest. Sleep escapes me, so I might as well take the watch. You rest with the knowledge that you are being watched over, or indeed guarded.